Checkmate 87 uh, uh, was presented today. This study assessed the efficacy of nivolumab and ipilimumab in uh, advanced non-small cell lung cancer in both uh, normal populations, ECOG PS01, and specific populations with ECOG PS2 or comorbidities like asymptomatic untreated brain meds, liver, or renal dysfunction of HIV. The idea is to have data in this population that represents a large part of our patients in daily practice, but are usually excluded from the clinical trial. And the primary endpoint was to look at the safety for those patients who received the combination of nivolumab flat dose, 240 mg every two weeks, and ipilimumab low dose, 1 mg per kilogram IV every six weeks. Patients were treated until progression or an acceptable toxicity for up to two years. The principal uh, results of this uh, study, the Checkmate 817, uh, is uh, that in this frail population, there was absolutely no increase in the side effects, whatever we looked at the treatment-related adverse events globally, the treatment-related adverse events of grade 3, 4, or the serious adverse events, hopefully, uh, very few deaths were reported in the two cohorts of the study. When looking at the data that we have coming from other trial, those data are really comparable, especially to the data from the Checkmate 227. If we look at the efficacy, obviously the efficacy of the combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab in this frail population was a little bit lower compared to the normal patients, ECOG PS01, but was still very interesting with a response rate of 24%, a duration of response at one year for 57% of the patients, and a median PFS that was over five months. When looking at some predictive factors, as expected, patients with tumor with the highest PDL1 expression, more than 50%, and patients with the highest tumor mutational burden, more than 10 mutations per megabase, perform better compared to the other patient with median progression-free survival close to nine months. Then globally, this study is providing us with data for the patients that are more frail, who represent a large part of our patients, and globally, we'll wait the results of the Checkmate 227 to see if this combination will take a place in our daily practice. I think uh, it, uh, for those patients with PS2, it's really important to run specific trial or to have those patients included in trial with a stratification by the performance status. But clearly, uh, this patient represents a large part of our patients, and we need to have prospective data, not only retrospective data or real-world data on these patients. We need to have prospective data, and it's really important to run specific trial for these patients.